happy December, everybody. It's time for the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge. And this is put on by Christy Creates and her co-host this month, Kristen K. The links for the channels will be in the description box down below, along with a link to the playlist so that you can watch everyone's video. Have fun. This is a tray that I found at Michael's for $39.99 and these are the materials from the Dollar Tree I'm going to use to recreate it. The first thing I did was cut the end of the plunger that had the plastic part on and then I cut that stick in, not quite in two equal pieces, one piece was just a little longer. And then sand the cut ends till they're smooth. Find the center of the plate and I used a tape measure to measure across both ways and then I traced a circle where my plunger stick will go. And this is the longer plunger stick that will go on the bottom layer. Then do the same thing on the underside of the top plate. Now before I settled on JB Weld, I had tried just hot glue, E6000, super glue, and nothing was holding this wood to this metal. So JB Weld is something that the, the guys in my family have used for everything. JB Weld it, they did that with everything. So I thought, well, it'll work for me too then. It comes with two separate adhesives in this plunger thing that you have to mix together. And I just used a wooden popsicle stick to mix the glue up. And I used that same popsicle stick to put the glue onto my plate and my wooden sticks. And they're holding. This is the only thing that I have found that actually works. So I'm a big advocate for the JB Weld. The longer plunger stick goes on bottom and the shorter plunger stick goes on top with the rounded end of the handle up. And also after I used the JB Weld, I let it cure for a whole 24 hours. It sets in a minute, but I wanted to make sure that it was going to stay before I messed with it any further. Now the inspiration tray had a ball at the top of its handle and so I'm going to make a ball using one of these plastic gun balls and a ping pong ball would work too but honestly I kind of wanted to play with the gun <laughs> so that's why I bought the gun that came with three balls.
After the whole thing was assembled, I took it outside and gave it a nice white coat of spray paint. And for the candy cane stripe edge, I used scotch tape to make the stripes. And I'm going to use red acrylic paint to paint the stripes on. And of course, I repeated the striping process on the top layer tray as well. Then I used these decals I made with my Cricut to finish it all off. Since I already had red vinyl on hand, the final cost for my project was only $4. If you have to go out and buy vinyl, one sheet will do it, and that's only a couple of dollars. So your cost would only be $6 for this tray. This was a very pretty tree that I found at Walmart and it had a price tag of $19.98. And this is the pet treat bulb that I found at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use to recreate it. It came with a lid, so I took the lid off. You don't need that. And then I had this string already on hand. I got it off of Amazon. It was very, very cheap. It was when I was trying to do some macrame, which I've given up on that but it's macrame cord and it's, it's really inexpensive. When I first started wrapping the cord, I hot glued it down until I had a nice pattern going. And then there was no hot glue required. I just wrapped it around. When I got to the bottom of the bowl, to the curved, where it started curving under, then I started using hot glue again to keep it all in place. To finish off the top edge, I hot glued a, another row of string right on the very top edge.
this is a $5 tree from Hobby Lobby and I'm using some leftover Christmas paper from last year, possibly even a couple, two, three years ago to put down inside with the tree to keep it nice and steady. And to hide the Christmas paper, I'm using reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. Since that reindeer moss is a pretty bright green, I'm using Santa snow that is from, I don't know how many years ago, the Dollar General store, and I didn't even know if it was still going to work. But lo and behold, it did. It's spraying perfectly. And here is a warning when it comes to the spray on snow. Once you start spraying, you really just don't want to stop. The inspiration tree from Walmart had red at the top of the pot but i decided against red that just doesn't go with my christmas theme this year so i didn't do that but you certainly could put masking tape around and paint the top part of your rope red The total cost for this tree for me was only $7, and I already had that rope, but you could use rope or yarn from the Dollar Tree, and then the cost for you would only be $8. Thanks to our host, Christy from Christy Creates and Kristen Kay for hosting this very special Chic for Cheap Challenge. Make sure you check out their channels and the playlist down below to catch everyone's videos. And I'll see you next time.